As we season some of it with white pepper, I like to also put in a little bit more white pepper on top. Just a little bit. Adds a little bit of a kick. There's nothing like homemade karage, right? Mm. Hey guys, Patrick here at All Day I Eat Like a Shark, where I share my Japanese recipes with one video and recipe per week. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to make chicken karaage. We're actually going to do a little bit of a twist by using shiokoji, which is what I have here. This will add a little bit more flavor and umami in my opinion, and it's one of my favorite ways to make chicken karaage. So I have all of my ingredients ready to go. I have ozeki, I have some sake, sesame oil, mirin, the shiokoji, and some honey. I also have some ginger as well as two cloves of garlic. That's going to be our marinade. All we're going to do is mix everything together, pour it into this little Tupperware that I have with, this is one and a half pounds of chicken breast, and we're going to marinate it for about eight hours or overnight, whichever is easier for you. And after that, we're gonna take it out and then we'll give it a nice uh, fry. And that'll be our chicken karage with shio koji. A little different of a spin, better flavor in my opinion. With that, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, crush these garlic cloves. So this is gonna be about a tablespoon's worth. And we're gonna use also about a tablespoon's worth of ginger as well. And then we're gonna mix everything together. And uh, this is gonna be our base marinade. I like to put in a little bit of white pepper as well. Adds a little bit of a kick. There's about a tablespoon's worth of ginger. It doesn't have to be exact. So just roughly get off that extra skin. And to make sure that it marinades well with the chicken, I'm actually gonna grate it. All right, so here's the ginger. Let's go ahead and grate the ginger. And then we're gonna use about five tablespoons of shiokoji, which is what I have here. Two tablespoons of mirin, two tablespoons of sake, and about a teaspoon's worth of the honey, and about a tablespoon's worth of the sesame oil. About a quarter teaspoon or a half teaspoon of white pepper. And then all of our hard work will be done. So tomorrow we'll be able to uh, fry this up. It'll be the perfect thing to put in your bento. There's all my ginger. It's about a heaping tablespoon's worth. Go ahead and measure out all this other stuff. So two tablespoons of sake, like I said. Two tablespoons of median. A tablespoon of sesame oil. Five to six tablespoons of shiokoji. It's one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll put in about two drops of honey. Stir this up. Throw in some white pepper right now. White pepper and sesame oil make a really good combo. Go ahead and pour this in here. Make sure that all of the marinade is touching each of these pieces of chicken. This is a pound and a half of chicken breast. So the shiokoji, because it's, a, it's an active uh, fermenting organism, it actually works on the chicken protein, helps to decrease the uh, water content, so that'll give it a firmer texture on the surface. It also helps to naturally break down some of the uh, proteins because the uh, little organisms like to eat. I think the honey helps to add a little bit of sweetness to balance everything out. All right, so there's our marinade. Let this sit overnight and tomorrow we will fry it up. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be finishing up the karaage, shiokoji karaage. Uh, recipe that we started yesterday. My chicken has marinated overnight. I have a Dutch oven ready to go for frying. I'm going to use olive oil today, extra virgin olive oil. I have a wire rack. We're going to be doing a double fry. So we're going to fry it, let it rest for a little bit, and then fry it for about 30 to 40 seconds. That really helps to improve the texture. Um, if you want more of a crunchy, firmer texture on the coating. The dredging flour here, this is katakuriko potato starch and flour. It's a one-to-one -one mixture. And I have some lemon wedges, which is going to be, we're going to be using this for serving. And then some cabbage, which I'm going to cut into into very thin slices, as thinly as possible. And uh, that'll be our chicken karage with shiokoji. Pretty straightforward. Actually gonna go ahead and heat my Dutch oven. I'm gonna put in probably about a cup's worth of oil. And we want the uh, temperature to be around 380 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can just use canola oil if you want. I actually like the flavor of olive oil. That's why we're using it. We're not gonna be doing a deep fry, it's just gonna be a shallow fry. So let's go ahead and thinly slice the cabbage as much as possible. That should be uh, good for a couple servings for today. And I'm actually not gonna use all the chicken. It's uh, one and a half pounds, so it's a good, good amount. I might freeze it or I might fry it up tomorrow, but just for the video, we'll do uh, about half. So this is about a half cup of flour and potato starch. Just to give you an idea, that should be sufficient for about three quarters of a pound of chicken. Okay, so it's at 190 right now, so give that a few minutes. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and get our uh, chicken nice and dredged up. All right, so I think my oil should just about be ready. It's starting to look a little bit shimmery. I'm 
going to go ahead and start dredging some of the chicken. You just want it to be lightly coated and we'll let it fry for about three to four minutes without touching it. You don't want to touch your chicken while it's frying, at least at the beginning. All right, so it's at 360, 370. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in some ch pieces of chicken. If you wanna see how it looks, it looks nice and uh, gold, which is what we want. There's our first batch, we'll do the second batch now. Okay, so that's about uh, half the chicken, so we'll just stop after this. One of the other things that I wanted to say was that if you wanna add another dimension of flavor to your karaga, you could use a little bit of sesame oil in the frying oil. So we're gonna add that on the second batch and uh, that'll give us uh, some extra sesame flavor. Let's go ahead and set up a plate here with our cabbage and karaga for its serving. Just throw on a few lemon wedges. All right guys, so here is the first batch, or first fry. We're gonna actually go ahead and refry it now. I'm gonna put these back in, and this will help to firm up the texture a little bit and uh, make it a little bit more crispy. It's totally optional, but we're just gonna do it for about 45 seconds, roughly. And this last group, I'm actually gonna put in a little bit of sesame oil, so about uh, two tablespoons worth. And that'll give it a little bit of a different flavor. That's what I like to do to change things up. Okay, so you've noticed that the color has changed also. A nice uh, brown. Previously it was more of a tan or golden light brown. Now it's looking a lot more like karage. So we'll just let that cool off for a bit. And uh, these other ones are actually ready to serve. It might be a little bit hot to eat, but we'll just put some on the plate. So here is my chicken karaga, half sesame oil fried and half just olive oil fried. So it adds a little bit of a dimension, a new dimension of flavor. If you're into that, definitely give it a shot. As we season some of it with white pepper, I like to also put it in a little bit more white pepper on top. Just a little bit. Adds a little bit of a kick. Go ahead and taste this. Grab a small piece. Squeeze a little bit of lemon on top. There's nothing like homemade karaga, right? Mm. You can even uh, serve this with like a uh, spicy mayo, like QP. QP might be good with this. QP plus sriracha, spicy mayo. Yuzu koshol, which is a uh, spicy pepper paste. So good. All right, guys, so small change in plans. I decided I might as well just make some spicy mayo, which I love as a little condiment. So we'll put in about a tablespoon or so of sriracha and about a tablespoon of QP mayo. It's a delicious way to enhance your karaage flavor. Go ahead and mix this up. This is similar to, I think, what they use at some sushi places, at least in California, where they have these spicy tuna roll type sushi. Works for karaage as well. Nice and spicy. So good. So question of the day, have you guys made chicken karaage before? Let me know. Have you uh, made it differently? Have you used shiokoji? What's your favorite way to serve the karaage? Do you like to have it with sauce? Do you like to just add some lemon? I would say lemon is probably one of my favorites. Sometimes I'm in the, I'm in the mood for mayo, but that'll be it for today. Appreciate you guys joining and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Nice and crispy. Crispy, crispy. Not like Rice Krispie treats, but crispy like chicken karaage crispy, properly fried chicken karaage crispy.